Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you the best settings to use inside of TCP Optimizer for gaming. So in the first half of the video, I'll be showing you how to find the most optimal settings for your specific hardware. And in the second half of the video, I'll be showing you the best possible settings that you can use. So I found these settings to be the best through a lot of testing on a lot of different devices. And these secret best settings have helped my client's connection go from looking like this do something like this so without further ado let's get right into the video so before we get started i'd like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video gear up gear up can help you get lower ping in virtually any multiplayer game that you may play thanks to their massive library which supports thousands of games which can be boosted with the click of a button gear up has helped me get lower ping in fortnite getting me down from upwards of 200 ping at times down to the upper 75s range with no packet loss and if you're on console gear up has their own dedicated game router that can help you get the best performance from your network even on a console they also have multiple servers across the world which you can switch to at any point, ensuring that you get the best routing to your actual game server, regardless of your location. With that being said, I highly recommend that you give GearUp a shot, especially if you play online games competitively. To try GearUp, check out the link below in the description. And once again, a huge thanks to GearUp for sponsoring this video. So the first thing that we need to do is download TCP Optimizer. For that, you need to click the first link in the description, which will take you to this website, which is the official TCP Optimizer download website, speedguide.net. On this website, you need to look for the TCP Optimizer download and then click on the TCP Optimizer 4 button. Once you click on this, the download should start automatically. The file is quite small, so it should take less than a few seconds to download. Once the download is complete, you need to locate the file. Once you locate the downloaded file, you need to simply right click and run as administrator. Make sure that you do this step or else it's going to throw an error at the end. It's not going to allow you to modify the settings properly. So make sure you run TCP Optimizer as an administrator whenever you are trying to modify any settings. So once your TCP Optimizer is fully loaded up, you need to first make sure that the modify all network adapters box is checked so that all the settings that we change in here will be applied to all of the network adapters present on your PC. Once that is done, you need to go to the connection speed slider and drag this all the way to the right to make sure that we're getting the maximum speed possible. So in order to apply the most optimal settings according to your hardware, all you need to do is down here under the choose settings menu, just click on the optimal button and then you should see that a bunch of settings here and inside of the advanced settings tab have changed. So once you select the optimal settings, simply click on apply changes and then it's going to show you a list of all the settings that are going to be changed and the ones that are not going to be changed. In my case, the amount of settings that will be changed is quite less because I have already applied these settings. Now just click on OK and then it's going to apply these settings for you. This should take a few seconds. Once the settings have been successfully applied, it's going to ask you to reboot the PC. Here, just click on yes, and then the settings will be applied successfully. So once you reboot your system, you need to open TCP Optimizer again. Now you need to go to the MTU slash latency tab. And inside of here, just click on the largest MTU button. This is going to ping a random server and then tell you the best MTU size according to your connection. So for me, it's going to be 1492. To apply this, you need to simply go back to general settings. And now under the choose settings menu, you need to click on custom. And here you can simply change the MTU to whatever number was the most optimal for you. Once this is done, you need to click on apply changes again, click on OK, and then once again, you need to restart your PC. Once rebooted, we have now successfully applied the most optimal settings according to your system hardware. So next up, I'll be showing you the best possible settings that you can use inside of TCP Optimizer. So to apply these settings, you need to head to the second link in the description, which is going to take you to this Google Drive link. Here, just simply click on download. And now this will download a file named best settings with a .spg extension. Once again, you need to locate the file. Now just right click on TCP Optimizer and run this as an administrator. So inside of TCP Optimizer, now what we need to do is on this menu, click on file. 
and then click on restore backed up settings. Once you click on that, you need to simply locate the file that we just downloaded, select it, and then click on open. Once you click on open, you're going to see a list of all the settings that will be changed. Here, just click on OK. And now it's going to apply the settings. Once applied, it's going to ask you to reboot your PC. Here, click on yes to apply the settings. So once you restart, you need to open TCP optimizer again. And now in the choose settings menu, click on custom so that these settings get unlocked. Once again, go to your MTU slash latency tab and here click on largest MTU. And then at the bottom, it's going to show you what number you should set your MTU to. So just select that number and then go to general settings. And inside of the MTU box, you need to simply enter the number that we just copied. Once this is done, just click on apply changes, press OK, and then reboot your PC once again to apply these settings. So once the reboot is done, you have applied the best possible settings to use for TCP optimizer. Now inside of the advanced settings, there are a few settings that you can test out for yourself and see which one works out the best for you. So inside of the gaming tweaks, you can try disabling the TCP ACK frequency and try enabling TCP no delay. And for the TCP Dell Actix, you can set that to disabled and see how these settings perform for you. So if you'd like to revert back to your default Windows settings for whatever reasons, all you need to do is go to the file menu on the top and inside of here, click on the Restore Windows Default Settings. What you can also do is under the Choose Settings menu, just click on the Windows Default button and then click on Apply Changes. Press OK and then just simply restart your PC to revert back to the default settings. So that is going to be pretty much it for this video. I highly recommend that you test out the optimal and the custom settings that I have provided and see which one gives you the best performance. If you need help regarding any of this, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. If you'd like me to optimize your connection for gaming to help you achieve the lowest ping and best latency, you can check out the link below in the description to hire me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.